Well, good afternoon, and welcome to the Idahoan Show. A number of viewers have requested that I do more gun reviews on this channel. Uh, now, when I do a gun review, I like to review a gun that I've owned for a number of years, put a few thousand rounds through, had a chance to really get to know it and find out you know, what issues may come up further down the road as the gun is used. Um, that said, there are a couple of guns that I think I'm ready to review, and one of them is this Llama Comanche 3 in 357 Magnum. I've heard a number of stories about how the Llama came to be. Uh, one person at a gun show told me that this was a patented Smith & Wesson design that somebody took over to Spain where they couldn't readily be prosecuted for patent infringement, had it manufactured in Spain and then imported it back to the U.S. and sold it. Uh, another person told me that it's basically a Spanish knockoff of the Colt Python. I don't know if there's any truth to any of those stories, but what I will say is that this is one of the best value firearms that I've ever owned. Uh, if I remember right, I offered $175 for it at a gun show you know, a number of years ago. Um, and yet, it's really a high quality firearm. Um, Overall, I'd say the workmanship is almost as good as a Smith & Wesson. It's certainly better than a Taurus, uh, and yet, if anything, it's cheaper than a Taurus. The one issue that I have run into with this gun, and it doesn't come up very often, but a couple of times I have had the cylinder not really bind up, but just get really stiff, you know, really difficult to turn. And I'm... It hasn't happened enough for me to positively ascertain the cause of the problem. I think what's happening is just uh, the cylinder blast is perhaps blowing some, uh, you know, fouling down into the space between the uh, the mating surfaces and the cylinder, you know, where the cylinder rotates on a on a pin, and that that's kind of gumming up the interface and and making it difficult to rotate. Uh, but like I said, it hasn't happened very often. Maybe once every thousand rounds or so. And, and so it hasn't happened enough to really figure out for sure what's going on there. One thing I will say about this gun is that I've been really impressed with the quality of the bluing job. Um, you know, we like to carry stainless firearms because, uh, you know, they won't rust when they're out in the weather. Uh, you know, but this thing, I've carried it through numerous rainstorms, snowstorms, you know, hiking through snow drifts, uh, fallen in the river a few times, you know, while carrying it. Um, and yet, you know, despite all its exposure to the elements, the, the bluing has held up really well. I've never had a problem with the gun rusting. Um, so I've been really impressed with the quality of the bluing. Uh, the grips are almost stock here. You know, these are the original walnut grips that came with it, although I have carved them down a little to fit my hands better. Um, but other than that, uh, I think that's about all I've got to say about this gun. So let me switch the camera to my uh, shoulder mount, and we'll go do some shooting. Ugh. Thank <laughs> you. 